You know, connecting with the customer is something that we all struggle with, but we've got some great information for you from our next guest. It is Marissa Sergi with Redhead Brands. She's CEO and founder, and we're going to talk a little guerrilla marketing and how to elevate your brand without necessarily breaking the bank. Marissa, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, let's talk about you first. How did Redhead Brands start? It's a little crazy story, but I am a third generation winemaker. My grandparents immigrated here from Italy with only a suitcase and a dream. So I wanted to embrace their sacrifice and really take any opportunity that I can in America. And I continued the family legacy of winemaking at Cornell University. So I have a Bachelor of Science degree of the Science of Winemaking. It's called Viticulture and Enology. And I know as a third generation entrepreneur, you're very, very connected to your core customer. Uh, one of the things I was reading that you'd said, I think, in an article was that 78% of wine purchases in a grocery store are made by the female customer. When you have that information, how do you take it and then connect with her at the shelf? Great question. I like to say I'm uniquely qualified because I am a woman and I am targeting redhead uh, to millennials and specifically millennial women. Mm -hmm. So I really tried to use marketing tactics that would appeal to myself and I ask my friends and run a little test market because I really want to be authentic and not really market to my customer, but I want to provide value with the information I'm throwing out there. A lot of times when we think of marketing today, we jump right to social media. You know, you got to get your brand out there, elevate your brand on social media. What are some of the other things that you've been able to do to really take redhead brands to your customer? Yes, I like to use social media as my crutch, uh, not relying on it, but of course being out there is very important. Um, I have a redhead wine vanity tag on my car, so it's RHD wine, but around the license plate it has my website and the name of my company. So if you're born in traffic, you will be seeing um, maybe the redhead <laughs> wine license plate and maybe your passenger or yourself will Google it later when you are not driving, of course. <laughs> I have a Poshmark account, so it's where you sell some used or unused clothing that's in great condition and every customer that's purchased from me I thank them with a nice redhead branded thank you note and explain to them that I'm using the funds received to fund my startup redhead wine so my dream is to have a national brand one day so maybe the person who bought my dress in Iowa or California New York will know redhead when they see it on shelves one day so you're putting that personal touch uh, with the customer into your marketing and I know recently you you were with the Walmart Made in America Summit, and that went very well. Will you tell us a little bit about your experience with Walmart? Absolutely. Best experience of my life so far. I'm only 23 years old, and being able to pitch a company I started as my capstone project to graduate from Cornell on the national stage at Walmart was an amazing um, time. I mean, the Walmart associates were so welcoming and helpful. It really made the process and me visiting Arkansas for the first time definitely one of a kind and a relaxing, a little anxious experience because I wanted to do well, but it was definitely something I enjoyed. And really quick, what's coming up next for Redhead Brands? Maybe a line extension in the future, a reserve label, but it's definitely going to be a lot more dry compared to my current Redhead Red Blend, which I like to say is sweet and spicy, but not too sweet, just like a Redhead. <laughs> Marissa, thank you so much for stopping by and telling us more about elevating the brand. Thank you for having me.